Alrighty, first few strikes on the new Alex Steel anvil. Just turn the propane forge off, and I'm gonna do some whacking. to bend though, I've heard much worse. All right, I'm just testing out for sound here. Now let's try it with a magnet on. Switch that around, big magnet. different area. Step. On. Hope you can hear that sound through the I'm running a GoPro 9. So whoever's familiar with that microphone might know. But looking at the surface, of course, uh, no effect. Some uh, scuffs, but that's about it. And uh, let me get this back up to heat. Again, not really making anything. Just hit whacking away for sound. It's pretty cold, but I'm just trying to show you what it sounds like. Kind of rough on it. Full effect.
So we got about a one inch hardy hole here. It's exactly one inch, probably three quarter inch uh, perch hole. Uh, your stage here is looking at two inches uh, by three inches, actual uh, hair over. Uh, stage here is hair over 16 and uh, three and three quarters wide. Horn, you're looking at a full seven inches. And uh, as advertised, the height is near exact 11. Now looking down the hardy hole, move you along here. You can see that it isn't quite straight down to the base. The actual foot of the anvil is in the way. Would have been nice if this was cut out a little bit. So you can send some material through. Just thought it was an idea. Here's the pitcher hole. That's nice and clear. Fit and finish. I'm going to say this was cast pretty well. Cleaned up very well. Um, there's some casting issues here on the side. But it's all just character. Um, underneath, which uh, I'll show you the picture now. Was an issue where... There's a bit of a void underneath the anvil. It's about the size of a quarter, about an eighth of an inch deep. Nothing that I think it'll affect the anvil at all, but it just uh, it's just a little bit of a shock to see it. Uh, a bit of a surprise, not a shock. And uh, other than that, it's pretty loud, but I think you guys heard what it sounded like being slapped around. Really, all I have right now is rebar. To, uh, work with and I'm just knocking around so you guys can hear it get a feel for the tone it is a, it's a gorgeous anvil uh, nothing wrong with it hey guys this was just the initial review uh, initial use review uh, I'm just an amateur backyard guy, so if you have any comments, questions, uh, just put them below, and I'll try to answer them as quickly and as thoroughly as possible. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, if you did, hit like, hit subscribe, so that you can see my long term review or my just my my various projects on the anvil to see how it holds up. And uh, hopefully, see you again real soon. Thanks.